What's it, by by me back, um, bringing you a nice series called Course Factory. So first things first, um, Nico I am going to finish that. Um, I checked it on YouTube and I'm near the end. Hopefully that video should be out tomorrow. And then I'll upload the full play two of it. And what I want to do is I want to do the extra and zero in two separate, uh, videos. You know, because I think extra is supposed to be two hours long because zero is like an hour long. So I'm going to do those in just, um, two separate videos and then I'll eventually do two which would just be a normal series but I've been looking at this and it kind of released I haven't kept track of it too much but I've had it in my research for a long time so I wanted to actually play this so that's why I'm going to upload this first because it's usually better to upload a game first when it comes out than wait that's why Unique Park's been out for a few years so I'm not really all the wood about uploading that as soon as possible but this just came out, so this is gonna be kind of my priority, but I'm almost having Nika Power, so um I don't know if I'm just gonna upload depending on how great this video does, I might upload two videos tomorrow, which might be this and the Nika Power, or I might upload uh Nika Power and then do this Friday. Don't know yet, depends how this video does. Anyway though. It seems like a pretty powerful game, and I played something that was really depressing on my own time on my PlayStation, and it was Tokyo Dark Remembrance. It's like an anime type theme, really dark, really depressing. No, it was a mystery type theme of horror elements. So I get the kind of vibe of this too. So, and all I say is that when I play a game like that, I want one good ending. Just one. That game. Didn't have really any good, so there was a best ending, I guess. But oh, I don't feel like something was bad. I just hope, wish, hope this one has at least one good ending. It doesn't matter if it has 15 bad, if it has one good ending, I'm okay with that. Anyway, we'll go ahead and start. Don't know how long the series will be, zero idea. We will see. It was about almost 20 bucks. It came out, so it was like 10% off, but it's almost 20 bucks. But, it should probably be a 10-12 hour long game, I would presume. 
Bog, Amy Katsuno. June Troll, Friday morning. I also got English voice actors, so... I won't really, uh, have to dialogue it that much. Which would be nice, because most fish novels don't have English voice actors. I know these have been talking about me behind my back. If Flash just fix my Sherlock Pass, they wave half hardly and say things like, Oh, hi, Amy! Boy, you're the only brave enough to pull off that look. The only one brave enough to pull off that look. What oh, two-faced lion. I hate each and every one of them. Mano, Shachiko, Masawa, just look at them. Everything about them is fake. Fake lips, fake, fake smiles, fake personalities. Look, I'll be the first to admit that I'm a fake too, but even I know I'm not as bad as them. I'm not horrible to every person I meet, just the ones I don't like. Uh, it's not fair that I have to work with them. I just wanted a part-time job, something easy and casual. I was always pushing out these delinquents with obsessed over to, to me. My mind is unbearable, but probably the least terrible of the three. She's a year younger than me and acts like she's some famous pop idol. But she's a thought about, just like me. Working in this dead end part time job just so her parents will kick her off her house. She spends her evening singing at underground bars and hanging out with shady talent agents who sure they can promote her and make her the next big pop star. She gets taken advantage of time and time again but never seems to learn her lesson. I don't know if she's just stupid or if she <clears throat> really thinks she's on the right track to becoming famous. So Chaco is the kind of straight lace girl you see at every school, studying her butt off to earn her parents' approval. <clears throat> the type of girl that always has the best grades, but never really has any friends. She's the kind of girl that graduates, then the reality of the real world knocks her on her butt, and she realizes that she actually has no clue what she's doing, just like the rest of us. So she says for the first crappy job she can find, and then suddenly it's three years later, she's still slaving away for managers just to make ends meet. Instead of being humbled by her station alive, so Chaka decided to take her anger out of everyone around her. I've seen her slap customers out of frustration. From a hazard that she strangled our boss on one occasion, apparently he's too afraid to fight her now. I don't blame him, I'm a f too. And then there's Kurosawa. I could write an entire blog on the things I hate about her. She's pretty, but she's very aware of it. She seems to have a new sugar daddy every few weeks, some poor food that she strings along as milk dry. She must be there and dirty, but all her friends are still seen in high school, it's more than they were. Hang out around the train station, bullying homeless people and shop them at the store. Pretty sure that she's done twice. She's done time once or twice. Of course, Sawa is just an all around tail pushing. She makes a mind on Shichaki look like saints in comparison. Honestly, I couldn't ask for a worse group of workers. Finally, that was... Amy cuts, you know, university door about part time cashier and up to my ears in death. I live in a small apartment in a bad neighborhood just to keep my head above water. My apartment building is filled with deadbeats, loan sharks, junkies, poets, you name it. By some miracle, I managed to snatch up the best apartment in the worst building. I thought the place is nice, the wind is questionably low. I'm fully expected landlords to wonder whether they made more money. What do you mean? Constantly worried about money, worried about my safety, worried about what the heck I'm supposed to do with my life. I said that wasn't bad enough, I have to work four days a week with the three worst girls I've ever met in my life. Today is no different than the end of the day. Arnold greets me at the door, her disgustingly puffy and powdery lips pulled back and a half snarl and half smile. I can smell the sickly scent of too much lip gloss from 10 feet away. Oh, hi, Emmy. You're late again, you know. I already oh, hate her. <laughs> just the voice. Not the voice actor, just the way they must have picked the voice out perfectly because she does see text me as that snarky. Almost immediately. Yeah, sorry. Just let me past. I'll go clock in. Whatever. Kurosawa wants to see you. Can you, like, just. Go see her. Fine. Mana walks off. I look around for Kurosawa. I still stint a cigarette smoke when she old rooms and lingers in a lip gloss in the air and leads me to her location. You wanted me? 
Katsuno, I need you to process a big refund. Don't mess it up, okay? It's for a regular customer. Okay, I can do that. What am I refunding? There's a bunch of shirts on the counter. Just ring them up and refund them for cash. You can leave the money in the envelope under the register. Fine, I'll take care of it. Thanks. I'm going for a smoke break. I decided to clock in before processing the refund. I won't be paid for this shit if the company doesn't know I came to work. I go behind the counter and retrieve the signs, the sign-in booklet. I flip to the same field my details done and done. The shirt that Kurosawa mentioned are lying haphazardly over the counter. I pick them up and skin each one. They're not cheap. The first brings up at 11,000 lane and the next is 13,000. There are six shirts all up. Each one a little more expensive than the last. They don't look worn. Tags are attacked. I'm supposed to ask for a receipt or proof of just before making a refund, but the customer is obviously not here. Besides, the request came directly from Kurosawa, my supervisor, so I can't exactly refuse. Refund goes through the system successfully, and the cash dollar opens up. I count out the correct amount of money in 10,000 yen, bills, then pop an elastic bin amount of cash I put in it. I also put in a copy of the refund see and slip it in with the cash. Just job done. I slide the envelope back on the red shoe and lean against the counter, surveying the story. I can see that there aren't any customers around. It's too early in the morning after all. We don't usually get much business to around lunchtime. I have a, a, around the red for a while, by my nails and staring at the clock to pass time. Kurosawa eventually returns from a smoke break. Half an hour must have passed by now. Does she think she is? Finish that refund? Yeah, I did it just like you said. Okay. She woman just reminded I need the cash ratio and push out the envelope stuff for cash. Fingers flick through it quickly, count each note, and she nods as her satisfied. Good work, Katsuno. I'll pass this on to the customer next time they come in. No problem. Anyway, I'll take over the cash register for a while. You want to go tidy up stock? Yeah, okay. Not too bad if Kurosawa wants to take over the register, dude. It's just boring standing around. How much would I be doing something more to, something than none? So here to watch a rack up on tidy tag it's a chuckle bumps into me. Sorry, I didn't see you there. Sorry, does she actually just apologize to someone to chuckle the customer abuser? <sighs> That's fine. You okay? I haven't been sleeping real well. I'm just tired, that's all. It looks like I can see the bags on the eyes. Well, um get some rest, I guess. <laughs> Thanks. Look. While I've got you here, uh, I know I haven't really been easy to get along with lately. I've got my own personal issues, but that's no reason to take it out on you and the other girls. Can't believe what I'm here. Shichako has a change of So I'm resigning as of today. I don't deserve this job. I wanted to apologize and make sure there's no bad blood between us. Sachiko, I don't know what to say. I never expected this from you. Yeah. If you're resigning, do you have another job lined up? No, not yet, but I need to work on myself first. I have a lot to think about. Well, I mean, as long as you're sure about this. I am. In that case, then thank you for apologizing. I forgive you. Thank you, Emmy. Well, until next time, then. Yeah. Until next time. Shichako takes her leave. I'm sure we'll take it back by a sudden personality change. That must judge her from the start? Honestly, I'm really liking the voice acting because, like, even when Shichako, uh, Shichako, Shichiko, <laughs> my bad. She haven't got the name quite down yet. Um, was talking. I could tell that her voice sounded depressed, like, she was trying not to cry. She was trying to keep it in, and you know, she was thinking about it. She's like, even by, I don't know if his portrait's always going to look like that, but it did look like she was generally tired. Like, you can see back on the tires, the way she looked, she looked exhausted, like, she hasn't slept in a while. Like, I don't know, like, if you see her again, and she's got some sleep, and it look better, if she look the same, or if she look different. If she looks different, that just means, you know, 
great detail, honestly. No, that can't be it. She has a history of abuse of customers and coworkers. There's no way I imagine all that. Regardless, I'm actually kind of glad she's trying to get a grip on her life. I hope everything works out for her. If she was signed today, then I suppose the only two terrible coworkers left are Mano and Sawa. I glance at Mano, who is standing by the door and waiting to greet customers. She has a vacant expression on her face, like this. I did look towards the West Shore where Kur Kurosawa should have been standing. But she's not there. Did she offer to take over retro duties for me? Where the heck did she disappear to? I wonder behind the counter, the restaurant doesn't look like it has been touched. How could. Excuse me. Out of curiosity, I slide my hand on my under the And the cast of the envelope is gone. No sign of it. She took the money. The seat from the reef that's lying on the floor, I have been down to pick it up. It's a standard reef receipt. Stating the value of the transaction, my name is signed at the bottom. So I just want to process it. But the money is gone, and so is. Masawa, did she. Is she trying to set her up? No, she couldn't have. Surely she wouldn't have one off of the money. No one would be stupid enough to miss her job over that, would they? Uh, there's Katsuno. You should go ask her about it. Uh, Masawa, she do? She seemed to pop up from nowhere. Katsuno, a word, if you please. I have a bad feeling about this. I would be fired because of how they did. Uh, who went to the man's the store? He normally spends his time in the office out back, so it's kind of useless to see him here. What could he want with me? Kurosawa was tending to the register when she noticed the system flagged a large refund as suspicious. Do you know anything about it? Well, yeah, I processed a big refund this morning. Is that so? Do you have the receipt? Uh, here. I hear him do a transaction receipt that I still between my fingers. He looks it over to try to establish for him. This is quite a large refund. No wonder the system flagged it. Did you get approval from Kurosawa before processing this? Kurosawa was the one who asked me to process it, sir. I never even spoke to the customer that it was intended for. That's not true, Hirota. I don't know anything about this refund. Wait, what? Where is the refunded money now? Well, I put it in an envelope underneath the register, but... There's no money here, sir. <laughs> She's lying to you. Interesting. No money to be found. And Katsuno, you're the one who signed off on the refund. That makes you responsible. Yeah, I did sign it, but... You're going to have to tell the truth, Katsuno. Did you take the money? Don't make me get the police involved. Wait, hang on. Do you think I stole it? Kurosawa asked me to process the refund and leave the cash in an envelope. It's nonsense. That's simply irresponsible. It's not safe to leave cash out of the register. But... I feel my stomach began to sing. What exactly is happening here? Confess at once, Katsuno. I didn't steal the damn money! If anyone stole it, it was that bitch Kurosawa! <laughs> Enough! We're not going to stand here and argue about this like bickering school children. Sachiko! Like a soap is sticking out of the shadows, Sachiko slides beside her while I have fitted the buffet on. Yeah, Sirita? Did you witness Katsuno take an envelope of cash from the register? Oh, yes, sir. Just this morning. She acted like she was processing a refund, then pocketed the cash. I meant to bring it to your attention sooner, but... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, I see. Just talk to that. She hasn't changed at all. She just told, showed me out. I may, managed to catch a glimpse of Kurosawa smoking at Sachaka. They're not using Google. Are they in this together? Are they throwing me under the bus just so they can steal some cash? I can't believe it. I'm so fucking angry. There you have it. A witness to your crime. Kurosawa, if you would kindly call the police. Yes, sir. Wait just a minute! I screamed loud in the attendant, but my blood is born and I can barely control myself. I didn't steal any money. Why don't you check the security cameras, huh? You'll see that I'm innocent. Oh, you know those cameras haven't worked in months, right? I suppose nowadays they're mostly just for show. Of course, if Hirota really wants me to, I could go double check it just to be sure. 
Though, I think that would just be a waste of time. Thank you, but that won't be necessary, Kurosawa. Kurosawa's eyes now as you gaze at me wiggly. Amano, please show everybody what you found. You got it, boss. I didn't even realize her mind was part of this discussion. She's leering at me disgustingly, slapping the envelope against her open mouth. Found wad of cash in Katsuno's locker out back. Shady always in on it. They must have really disliked her. I can feel the blood drain from my face. I haven't even been out the back chain. Are they all in this against me? Did they plant evidence to get me in trouble? You're lying! I haven't even had time to go out back today! I mean, what do you want me to say? You think the cash just appeared out of nowhere? It would seem all the evidence is against you, Katsuno. Since we located the money, I won't have you arrested. But you will not step foot in this store ever again. Do I make myself clear? You're fired! And I will make sure you never work in any of our stores again. I'm speechless. I came with parts of my thoughts. Quiet, giggling, snickering of Kurosawa and Shichiko and Mano. Buzzes in my ears and through my skull feels like it's going to bust. The water that grabs my shoulder and tries to lead me outside by a jerk away and settle backwards. My back slams into the glass window at the front of the store. Thankfully, the glass doesn't shatter, but I can immediately feel bruise forming. I push myself forward, begin my balance, and duck towards sliding door. See you around, Emmy. <gasps> oh well, I guess not, hey? <laughs> I blink tears out of my eyes as I dash through the store's front door. I ain't gonna feel an anxiety that got the better of me, and it's a good 5 or 10 minutes before I realize that I've been running aimlessly through the shopping mall. I reach a hand to my eyes to wipe away my shoulder and take a deep breath. I look trying to get my thoughts. That's good, at least I know where I am. I need to sit down and compose myself. If I don't calm down, I might be tempted to return to the store and start punching those three absolute. With my head down, I blindly charge forward towards a small scene area. <laughs> I cried head first with somebody in front of me without thinking I scream out and go. Watch where you're going! Uh, sorry. Wait, this girl I know for some while. Hatsuna? Is that you? Huh? I know you. Have we met? Yes, of course. We graduated from senior high school together. Remember? I don't know the voice actor's name, but that sounds one like Hugh Tap from Genshin, two like Wham from Rezero. I'm not gonna look it up. Wow, well, I don't, I really don't know the name, but I definitely recognize the voice. Did we? Senior high school is more than a year ago. Feels like a different lifetime. How does she expect me to remember that? Secondly, if it does, I'm even more surprised because Genshin is a billion-dollar game at this point, and. Zero is probably a billion dollar anime at this point, and this seems like a much, I, can, I won't want to say only small, it's got some work into it, but I didn't really expect this a vision novel that had this came out, I don't think I even know the developers, I haven't really looked too much at it, it's been a minute, but still. Hmm. Maybe... Yeah, you're Sato, right? Aoi Sato? That's me. You do remember. Well, kinda. Sorry. I've had a crappy day. I just got fired, so I'm not thinking straight. You got fired? I'm really sorry. Um, you bumped into me pretty hard. Are you hurt? I'm fine. Oh. It's rubbing her arm tenderly. I feel like I must have injured her, but I'm really not in the mood to stand there and apologize to some older acquaintance. I have to go. Excuse me. Oh, um, okay. I pu push past Ayo, uh, unexpectedly, the shine spider is going to crush my arm and stops me from leaving. Her grip is surprisingly strong. Katsuno, you said that you just got fired. Is that true? But, yeah, I'm pissed off about it. Tell me what happened. Why are you so interested? I just thought maybe I could help us all. Whatever. You can't help. Some bitch set me up. She stole a bunch of money and made me take the fall. Uh, I see. Are we done here? Can I leave now? Sorry for keeping you. Yeah, okay. Once again, I turn to leave. Bye, next wish manager catch my interest. You know, if someone got you fired, 
There is a way you could get revenge. Revenge? What is this girl on about? Does she have some way for me to get back at Kurosawa? Where am I thinking? I can't even step foot back at store. My, ch my chance to get any kind of justice just doesn't exist. Revenge? What the hell are you talking about? Never mind. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh, hell no. You're not going cold on me now. Tell me what you meant. Oh, okay. But let's talk quietly. There may be a way for you to get back at whoever got you fired. Have you heard the rumors of Corpse Girl's website? Corpse Girl? Who is that? Sounds like some death metal band. I acknowledge my comment and continue to with her speech. You say that if you visit Corpse Girl's website, you can. That's what I was thinking. Kind of like that note. <laughs> but I guess it's a doing your, I guess technically yourself from notebook. Go do it on the website and have someone else do it. Hang on, start over. I'm, I'm completely lost. Are you found? She look of knowledge on the face. Say somebody wrongs you, and you want to get revenge on them. Go on. Rumors state that you can visit Corpse Girl's website and fill out a form in order to request a specific person's death. This Corpse Girl, is she like a hitman or something? No one knows the truth. All I know is that her victims always receive a photo of their own corpse before they die. Victims always receive a photo of their own course before they die. That's so what? It's like seeing how they're gonna die before they die. How is that possible? Yeah, like that's like the future, pretty much. I don't know. I don't think Photoshop could even do anything that good. I I've been wanting to use the website for some time. There's somebody, somebody that I'd be happier without. But I'm not brave enough to go through with it. Still, I want to know if the rumors are true. If you use the website, you could tell me if it works or not. This whole thing sounds sketchy. Risky. Are the police gonna come get me if I go on this website? I... I've got no idea. Well, thanks, I guess. I it doesn't seem... Doesn't make a photo attempt to stop me when I turn on and I heal and walk away. I don't know what to make of for suggestion. Can such a website even exist? The ability to request a different sound so on yet. I found myself unable to get the possibilities out of my mind as I make my way towards the train station. Scroll website Tate for revenge. I could job in Kurosawa is such a good enema. If I go remain anonymous and no matter what happens, whatever fate befalls the it can't be traced back to me. I start to wonder if Orton does what goes simply because it got me fired to the extreme. Although they're not exactly saints, they're close to human garbage more than anything else. They'll always be harsher towards me. I'll probably be doing the way to fail if I had the marquee. They screwed me over without a second thought. That's what they might do next unexpected victim. Yeah, can all three of them is the right thing to do. For the plan will put me. I hope it gets away. Turn back to my apartment's born. The train carriage is nearly empty, save for a few junior high school boys, a couple of women, and business attire. I have a few I have a few seats all to myself, so I spot out and check my phone for messages. I feel confident that no one in the carriage is watching me. I decided to search for the corpse computer on my phone. I don't exactly know how easy it would be to find. Maybe I should have asked Ayo for the address. Well, a quick search shouldn't be too hard. I begin to type. Oops, corpse websites. Few results pop up on my screen, but none of them seem relevant. There were links to funeral services and anime fantasies, but none really match what I'm looking for. Maybe this was a bad idea. I should probably delete my search history. Maybe just one more search. Corpse girl request uh death. My phone seems to lag for a few seconds as the search is submitted. Then 
Watch this and links appear. So top of shorts, catch my melee. This must be it. I click the link and the rest I load to melee. First light simple, there was a freak lady dancing go at the top of the screen who looks so happy to but longer set to sight. Yeah, request of death, fill out your victim's information and upload it for them. The victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Watch out, don't be an idiot until... Both sides is really basic, a small blow of text off instructions. Request of death, fill out your victim's information and upload a photo of them. Your victim will receive a photo of their own corpse shortly before they die. Watch out. Don't be an idiot and enter your own information, or you will be cursed. What the hell? Is this site actually for real? I start to wonder if I should go through with this. There's very useful information on the site. I mean, it does say request a death, but come on, is someone actually going to go out and kill the person I choose? And how on earth can someone receive a photo of their own corpse before they're actually dead? That just doesn't make any sense. Oh, I saw this gifts and I knew you dropped my phone when it busted me. Oh, thank God. It's just a text message. Not no number, that's never a good thing. Wait a minute, there's a photo attachment. Who wouldn't be sending me a photo for me on a number? Oh. My cross it gets a better than me and I open the message. Kurosawa, you fr Okay. I thought it was going to be a picture of her corpse, but that's the picture she needed. I knew it. I knew she set me up, and Amano and Sachaka were in on it too. They made me p possess a fake re refund to get cash out of the register so that my name would be on the transaction. And off of what? A bit of cash? They'll have to split three ways? Kurosawa, I'll kill you! I'll kill you! A few of the junior high school boys nearby look at me with worried expressions, but I don't give a damn. I'm angry, I'm furious. Kurosawa's gonna pay. I close Kurosawa's message. It's on the Coach Party's website. Oh, Coach, Coach website. I'm missing the words now. Not party. It sounds similar, but it's not it. It's clear what has to be done. I'm going to request Coach death. I read the website instructions one more time to make sure I haven't missed any important. Enter the victim's phone number. Upload a photo of the victim. <laughs> I can't believe it. Kurosawa just signed her own deficits to this. She sent me a photo of herself and the phone number was included with the message. I feel in the phone number, they upload the photo, my hand trembling over time. My thumb hovers over the submit button. I feel a chair down my spine, my face turns pale and I immediately feel cold and clammy. Is Kurosawa really gonna die if I use this website or is this all a sick hoax? I went through the possible outcomes of my hand. First possibility, nothing happens to Kurosawa and none the wiser. Second possibility, of course, I get pranked by whoever is running this website. Maybe the administration gets a kick and torment to people. But sorry, I might just receive some spin text or something like that. The possibility, of course, I'll die. She gets murdered or some elaborate scheme is supposed to make her die accidentally. I left culture, free to smile. I, li I like to do possibility the most. Jesus. <laughs> I stand my dumb down and smash the mid button. Pill for the end, June, body even. I get home, I can barely contain my noises. I'm shaking as I open the door to my apartment. It does look nice, actually. By the time I walk through the door, the sun has just started to sit behind the backdrop of the city. Even though it's not dark yet, I'm feeling physically and mentally drained. The dawn my work this morning, the taunts and laughing was sour. I feel exhausted. Like I just want to quiet your bed and sleep. Despite my dip. Dear Peninsula lovers, I can't extinguish the burning question flick over my mind like a can of flame. How will I know when or if Kurosawa cool, is dead? Will Kurosawa cool, notify me? No, of course not. I didn't give any of my personal information to the site. The idea was anonymous. And it's not like I can visit the store tomorrow and see if it comes into work. If she comes to work, I'll be kicked out of shares and show my face. So what do I do? <sighs> That's it. Put my phone now, my push open. Open noise, a social network app that my coworkers are connected to. When I was just talking about mine, are all in this group chat labeled work life. Users had to swap shifts with each other and complain about the boss. 
It says, I was hoping I haven't been kicked out from the group yet. I swipe through the list of chat members and tap on my someone's profile. I saw a line one hour ago. Perfect. If I use a sap, I can keep an eye on where so it when so is active. She only had to be using the phone for noise to detect that she's online, just unless you have to be using noise it itself. It's the best way I could think of to monitor if she's still alive or not. It would do for now at least. I wonder why Kurosawa sent me that photo of her via a regular text message instead of through notes. Maybe she thought she could be busted for it if someone got into her noise profile. Knows what that girl was thinking regardless, I'm thankful she made such a stupid mistake. I wouldn't have obtained a phone number if she had decided to message me was it instead. After all, no she's struggling in online service, no need for phones. Come to think of it, where did she get my phone number? No matter, it worked out in. I slumped down on the couch in front of the TV and keep my phone fully across my hand, my knuckles whitening. I started to bite my fingers on my other hand out of anxiety. In an attempt to distract myself, I switched to the TV and streamed some stupid reality TV shows. Distraction hardly works, and I find myself extremely glancing my phone every couple of minutes, waiting for a kind of update of course I was on as that Even passed slowly. June 13, Saturday morning. Sunlight streams through the open cords, I startle. Did I fall asleep on the couch? I wipe my mouth with my sleeve, cleaning off a truck out the door for my chin. Oh, so I know how she feels, because I'm kind of nervous. I want to see if it actually works. My phone is still in one hand, and I quickly check it. I tap the fingerprint to the screen, but it's not responding. The belly died. How much I fall asleep and left the screen on all night. I wait towards my charge and plug it in, anxiously waiting for just enough energy to turn the phone screen back on. After what seemed like an eternity, the phone comes to life. I catch a glimpse of the clock as I swipe the lock screen away at 6.34 a.m. Open I'm not as quick as I can and flick through to Kuro Sama's photo. His profile is private. You are not connected to this person. Damn it! She blocked me! I frankly navigate to the group chat only to find that I've been kicked out. Damn it! Damn it! What can I do now? I've got no way of knowing whether Kurosawa is still alive. I send my phone down in frustration and it vibrates in retaliation. I blink a couple of times, she will be texting me at this hour. It might be Kurosawa again trying to warm my face in her victory. Well, if that's the case, at least I kn would know that she's still alive. Here's you pick up my phone again and open the message. There's no text, just a photo attachment. I think it works. <laughs> oh wait, is that her picture? What the hell is this? I nearly dropped my phone at the table. I thought of a dead body twisted comfort like it was falling from a great height. It's bad of blood is flecked across the grass. It's hard to make out the details of the person. Dirty blonde hair, familiar clothes, much makeup. This this dead body, is this supposed to be me? There could be no mistake in it, without a doubt, this is a picture of my own corpse. I shriek again, I'll never depart from the scene. It's so entrenched by the bad corpse that it takes me a minute to notice, time saving the corner photo. It's Jay's day, but something's off. The time says 7.28 a.m. That's about an hour from now. I show involuntarily and feel the sickness sensation of bio is rising in my throat. This photo, is this a prediction of my death? Am I going to die within the hour? And then the truth hits me hard, then my face hits the ground in the Gucci photo. Request a death on Corpse Course website, your victim receives a photo of their own course before they die. When he died, I can't look at it anymore. I throw my phone to the side and caught up on the floor. The corpse go sent this to me, and how? How did somebody get a photo of my corpse? A photo that is simply from a future. It's a passport. It has to be hoax. Some trick. Some psycho told me. Yeah, that's all it is. Someone is messing with me. Probably Karsawa. I get up off the floor and stumble around. I'm kind of lightheaded and balance, and my stomach feels queasy. Where the launches conscience through my door in seconds. I blindly reached around for my phone and finally grasped it with my near fortune figures. Phone's number that sent the photo, it's an unknown number, but the digits don't match the number that Kurosawa texted me from yesterday. So it's unlikely that this came from home. Sorry, the phone number is kinda weird, there are more digits than should be possible. I tried to count them, but stumbled a few times confusion. I eventually conclude this number has 18 digits, way too many. 
In addition, the phone number seems to repeat this a lot. 666 666 Yeah, it's 666. It's not a good number. It seems too strange to be real. Is it possible to fake a phone number? Something interesting catches my attention. Even though the color ID doesn't recognize the number, it has data on the origin of the number. Tokyo, Japan, my very own city. Perhaps the sender of the phone can master the number but can't hide the location. This gives me an idea and I decided to get to the bottom of the station despite my head throb and my stomach plate to be empty. I punched the phone into a search engine along with the keyword Tokyo. Phone results. The link points to a popular discussion board, no shit no. It's an anonymous board where you usually can talk about almost anything. And no big surprise, it owns it's owned and operated by the very same company behind the no shop I use on my phone. I tapped the link and get taken to the sketch shop from less than a week ago. I click it. Strange folder from unknown number. Hey, so today I got a strange school folder from a number I don't have in my context. Not sure what to do is it was close though. Wondering if any hackers can trace the number or something. It's seems like Tokyo area. I'm I'm in Osaka. Okay, thanks in advance. Top I got only one reply. Strange folder for one. Got this too. What's the school for the picture of yourself? I'm worried. Received a similar pic from the same number. Thinking about contact the police, not sure if I'm overreacting. That's that. They have a discussion. Need a post to follow up the conversation. That's all. That didn't give me anything to go on, except now I know that at least two other people have received bloody photos of themselves. And one of those photos were as extreme as the one I received. What happened to these two posters? Posters? Why didn't they continue the discussion? I died. I feel myself begin to shred. My body is going cold to hell again and back again several times a minute. It feels like I have a feel, but I know it's just strain stress tearing me up. I check the time. 6.59 a.m. About half an hour to the time print on the photo. I take a deep breath and the door bell wheezes. I freeze in place on the show where I should enter the door. In this sketchy apartment building, it's a risk to enter the door on any given day before you take it into consideration that some psycho just texted me for my own course. I tip to the door on simplex and gaze through the people. There's no one there. I breathe a sign of relief. Maybe I'm just on edge and the doorbell echoed from someone else's apartment. Besides, I don't know of anyone who will visit me on it now, especially this early in the morning. I slump to the floor, my back sliding down the door. As I come to the rest of my, on the carpet, my legs splayed out haphazardly in front of me. I've had enough fear for one day. I have to just believe this whole thing is a hoax. It's probably karma for trying to get revenge on Kurosawa. Yeah, that's it. Karma. The doorbell rings again and I scream in shock, my head slamming back against the door I was resting against. I jumped to my feet and ignored the people, this time seemed to swing the door right oh, oh. Bad idea. Of course a chilly morning air was sweeping through my apartment and I shut my eyes tightly against the sun code. A messy hair tangles in the wind and I squish my vision when I open my eyes. Quickly I sweep the hair out of my face and look around, there's no one there except... A metal trolley is blocking the walkway in front of my door. A stark white bag, about the size of a human body, rushed on top of the trolley. My heart begins to race as I immediately recognize what this is on TV. It will show these trolleys used in morgues to cart dead bodies around. Bodies. The moment that I have been trying to escape my body all morning finally finds its way out of my mouth. I reach and heave the doorway into another slap to slide my belly except the stinky stomach as that threatens a burnt fleshy container. The stench wafted from the trolley is overwhelming. Pinch of my nostrils closed, thus laying more than trapped the horrific odor on some hours ago, and I gag and blood involuntarily. My hand reaches forward as though controlled by some being other than myself. I can't pull it back and I can't prevent my fingers from grasping the zipper tack attached in front of the bar's back. I unzip the back. What? There, and there I am, a rich corpse exposed to today's first rays of sunlight. This doesn't make any sense. How she do, but she's still alive. Then you got a picture of the future. I didn't. I know they get a picture of the death, but I didn't think they got the body of the death. I thought it'd be Kurosawa. I stand there in the doorway as I lay there on top of the trolley. The Tommy's alive and dead, but more dead than alive in both bodies. 
The bruise on my face is horrific, and I reach a stiff finger to my lips and my live and lips, twisting the outline of the bruise I see before me. There's no pain where the bruise should be, and I breathe a sign of relief for why would it be pain if I'm already dead? To feel pain would be absurd, and then I would really have to start warning. My only, well, I want to say my only guess is that maybe sh sh when she put the deed into the corpse thing, corpse girl website, she put in s the wrong information, maybe not enough information, and it killed the wrong person. But they did get a picture, and of course, I had bluish hair. This has blonde hair, so. I wonder how I died. Did I fall from a great height? Did somebody hit me with a car? Or did I crash for some eternal reason? Crash from organ failure or some undiagnosed sickness? Maybe I didn't die and the corpse in front of me is alive. Living and breathing just as I do while standing in front of myself. Maybe this is all a prank I put on myself. Dying just as a joke but never really dying. Always living it to the point I actually die and it's no longer a prank. I'm confused. <laughs> That's a lot. My head is splitting. I can't think straight. All the thoughts of my mind are jumping. The minutes behind are spoken words. This parent behind foggy clouds is on my shadow skull. skull. To clear my head, I step around my corpse and stand by the walkway is willing. I'm on the fourth floor of the apartment building. There are two floors above me, so I could go high if I wish, but I'm pretty sure a leap from here will be enough to win in my living body. I dare go to that of a corpse on trolley. At this point in time, there exist two voices of in the country you know. One is living and it's me and the other is dead, but it's also me. I can choose not to be alive and dead, or be dead, dead and dead, but I cannot choose to be alive and alive. So even if I choose to be alive and dead, I'll still only be half alive, but choosing dead and dead is nice to clean up in an but solid state of existence. I grip the cool steel handrail and lean over the walkway, my hair whipping against my face thanks to my relentless wind. That's how you're gonna die. You're gonna fall right backwards. Four stories below me is a small courtyard. Paved with concrete and decorated with a case of shrub or flower bed. That's the picture. I miss the concrete by about two feet. Dutch plays up into the air as my nose is crushed under my own body weight. I think about that photo of course on me with a smug smile and her hands full of stolen money. My teeth grind into my tongue and sever it, but it doesn't manage to escape my closed mouth. My mind wanders and said it's on course. So I, what was that all about anyway? As far as I know, Nothing happened when I submitted Kurosawa's details. Maybe Kurosawa found the Versailles room and submitted my death force. I guess Corpse Girl got me. Hey Kurosawa. I think I can taste blood in my mouth, but it might be a memory from some other point in my time. A blinking light from nearby from nearby park car kind of irritates me, but then my vision turns blue or black, and then my only concern is now I never, never truly know what. the picture Jesus talk about prologues that was just a prologue that was a great start I was into it the entire time I just don't know what to say so Nuriko Kurosawa okay this is so three weeks earlier so my only question is that was it Kurosawa that actually did it? And that that's like uh that that prologue just hits different. Like I was into it. I surprised how good it hits. Like I was reading some of the comments and they end up saying like no, they don't start with the daily life or just nobody that's going on. Like, they explain what needs to be explained. You know, with some dialogue and then you get into it. And then, this whole corpse go thing. Like, see the photo, like, you have so many questions. But it's so intriguing because you want to know what these. Like, right now, I'm wondering who sent the photo of uh, Katsuno, whatever her name was. I haven't spent a lot of time on the character, so sorry. But, <clears throat> still though, it's like, who sent, like, who... Put in the request. Who was the one? Was it Kurosawa? Was it someone else? I am going to say maybe it wasn't Kurosawa. And part of me is thinking it's uh, Ari, that one girl we saw, because she said she's somebody she doesn't like, but she never disclosed it. Now, she was friendly, and she never put the request in, is what she said, but at the same time, the web she decided to. That's the big thing. Like, I. That's why she said this kind of makes me think that maybe she did. But, I mean. 
that that's a Dean though. Like she was like, and plus seeing like her body, her dead body that was right there. Like she, she was already dead, but she was alive. But is she really dead? Uh, but both alive? Like that just makes more more questions. Even who she couldn't wrap her head around, and as the weedle. I couldn't process it. I was in her state of mind and I was thinking to myself like I was confused as hell like none of it makes sense. How do you get a picture of you dying but you're never dead? How do you get a you know how do you see your dead body but you're still alive? You know what I mean? Like it's like they know about the future, they can get stuff out of the future, but it's like but it's the present. Like there's so many questions. Like I'm I'm in. Like, they, that part just caught me in. And I don't know if each person's gonna die in this. I don't know. I assume it's Kurosawa will eventually die because she, she got put into a questing too. But I don't know. Um. And then we'll have, and I wonder if we're gonna place the other two goals, but still, I'm into it. So right now I'm gonna end this episode. Um. That being said, uh. I might do one tomorrow, I might not, it depends how well this video does, but I would do this series because I'm into it. This first episode is like 50 minutes long, because I don't know why, I just kept playing it and I thought it was only 35-40 minutes. No, I was like, in it, I was still with it. So, anyway though, hope you guys enjoyed this video, like I said, depending on how this does, I might do one tomorrow, um, but I will more... Definitely going to finish Nico Power and Mobile and do a full and condense it all to a full playthrough. So, but like I said, um, I might do it tomorrow. Depends on what this does. But I'm liking this so far. They great prologue. They knew what they're doing. There's a lot of kill and love. English voice actors great. They seem to have some people that are, you know, have some experience for sure. And, you know, the details, the CG, it's just everything is just great about it. It gives me similar Nika Power vibes in some way. Or actually, I should say Nika Power because it's like a vision novel. Um, the Tokyo Dark, it gives me vibes to that because there's a lot of animating cutscenes and um, a lot of CGs and a lot of innings and you know, there's no voice acting hardly that much at all. But still, like that had a lot of care in it too. And really, if you went to begin the end, it's only six hours. But there's a lot there. Um. That being said, though, it gives me vibes like that a little bit. But, oh, well, I'm going to have a good time. Anyway, I've talked long enough for people still watching. Um, I will continue this maybe tomorrow or I'll continue on Friday. It depends. But, I'm genuinely enjoying this and I want to keep playing it. I'm going to do Nika Power, finish that off. And then I'm going to do the next two parts, like I said, probably Extra and Zero in the old separate videos. I don't know how soon I'm going to do that. It could be after this, or it could be doing this. I don't know yet. Um, and then I'll probably do Sneak of Power 2, and then maybe 3 and 4 right after, depending on uh, if any other games come out while I play. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I've talked long enough. I hope I've really enjoyed this. I hope you guys stick with me to the ends. And I guess that's what I should do, is I should say first. Can you? Ah, you got like a... Let's play safety. Okay. And I guess I'll see you guys girls in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.